Fox News, uh, many viewers may not know about this, but, but apparently you do and, and some do. Fox News, which has been caught in defamation, ran a false piece falsely stating that I said something else that I didn't say. Yes, you did. Yes, you did, Brett. Here's how the New York Times put it. On the first night of this convention, Trump was his own biggest prop. He entered the VIP box, a large white bandage on his injured right ear, the result of a close call on Saturday with a would-be assassin's bullet. A reminder of mortality, a badge of survival. It was a blank rectangle on which the crowd could read what it wished, and that made it the most potent placard in the hall. That's fair. A placard for delegates to fill in, an image for political mobilization, a spectacle for this candidate who we know is, by his own admission, obsessed with assorted spectacles. So I stand on that. I stand on the New York so Times So you quote. didn't say this bandage was a proper spectacle from a candidate who's obsessed that. with spectacles. Uh, Mr. Lewandowski, I Ari, did not say Ari, that. That is a false I have it right quote. Here. And it's, it's clear. You, what you it's have a, is you a false quote. Said what it. you have is a false quote. And if you, I'm putting you on notice, if you continue to repeat falsely that I said that, you will be potentially in a defamation situation because I didn't say that. But I understand that you're working off the internet, which is a lot of false well, information. This, this is what it says I wish right you luck here. with that. And Corey Lewandowski, we gave you time. So you I appreciate you coming on. For that. Thank you for joining me. I caught you in 4K. <laughs> I caught you in 4K. Ooh.